In this lesson, we're gonna be talking about the sum to infinity. Let me make this as easy as possible for you. The sum to infinity is only something that you're gonna use when it is geometric, okay? And the R value, the ratio, must be smaller than one, but it must be bigger than minus one. So if we had to draw a number line, it would be all the numbers well, let's say that was like minus two, positive two, and you know it can go all the way up to like a thousand or a million, whatever, minus a thousand. It would be all the numbers there. So it's all the numbers between minus one and one. So that's when you would use sum to infinity. And let me give you the formula. So you know the formula for a geometric series, which I showed in the previous lesson? Well, that one went like this. Remember? Now, all I want you to do is just scratch this one out. Just take it away. Um, why not? And then just change it to sum to infinity. A1 multiplied by 1. But now A1 multiplied by 1 is just A1. And there's your formula. Okay, so that is the formula we will use when they ask us about sum to infinity. Let's do some examples now. So here they say, determine the sum to infinity. Okay, cool. So we write out the formula. What's really nice about sum to infinity, I love it, is that you don't need to know how many terms there are. And so we can just go and say that um, A1 is term one, which is a thousand, R is a half, and if you had to go work this out, you'd get 2000. Do you know what this actually means? It's really interesting. What this means is that, and I challenge you, and if you, if you can prove me wrong, I'll give you one dollar. <laughs> so, um, check this out because, you know, I'm scared I say like a big amount and then somehow some like Einstein one day disproves me and then I have to like give away all my money. So one dollar. So the way it works is if you had to go plus all of these numbers together and you can let the sequence go on and on and on. So for example, if you have, can you see that all of these numbers are halving? So if you had to keep going, what would the number after that be? I don't know, like 31,25, I think. Yep. And then if you had to carry on to half of that would be like 15 comma 625. Now, if you're really bored right now, I challenge you to go, just carry on. Just go, just keep halving the numbers, okay? And you're gonna start getting to some really small numbers. Now, I know there are some students out there who are gonna go do this right now. Most of you won't, because most of you are like, nah, bruh, I wanna like, I got things to do today, you know? I just gotta quickly get my studying done so I can go live my life. But there are some of you that are like, ha, challenge accepted. Anyways, so these numbers, if you just keep halving them, Keep halving, keep halving, keep halving, keep halving, keep halving. Those numbers are going to get super, super, super small. And eventually, those numbers are going to become so small that your calculator is actually just going to say zero because they're just going to become so small. At that moment, I want you to then take the, the remaining two hours that you still have available. And I want you to go add every single number that you just put on your piece of paper. All of them. Those num all those numbers that you wrote down, all the way down to zero, go plus them all together. And guess what? The answer will never be able to go more than 2,000. It'll probably be 1,999,999999. And if you really have a lot of time and you go for long enough, it'll probably get to 2,000. But it will never, ever be able to go more than 2,000. That is what the sum to infinity does. It's amazing, super powerful. Okay, Kevin, I don't really care, bro. Can we just do the next example? Sure, let's go. So here's the next example. Um, so it says determine the sum to infinity. So we just do the infinity formula and just fill everything in, A1, 400, R is, oh, what's R, I should probably work that out. Some of you are gonna say it's four, but you'd be wrong. It is actually a quarter. To go from 400 to 100, you're dividing by four, but we're not looking at what you're dividing by, we're looking at what you're multiplying by. Remember, we've mentioned this before. Yeah, but Kevin, how do I work out R? I thought it was four. To work out R, you can always term two, divided by term one, and that's gonna give you 100 over 400, and that's gonna be a quarter. And so we can fill in a quarter over there, and so that's gonna give us 400 over three quarters, and that's gonna give us 533,33. So what that means once again is if, and, and if you're really bored, you can go do this again, go add up all of these numbers, so the next number would be 12.5, the next number would be, um, 6.25 and then it would be like three comma something and it will just get smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller if you do this for long enough eventually it'll become zero then i want you to go add all of those numbers together and this is what you would get 
Okay, so the sum to infinity is very cool. It just knows how to add up all the numbers. It's amazing. So if I was like date, if I was like in the math, how do I say this? Okay, I don't think I can say this without sounding really lame and weird and nerdy, but if I was like living in maths world, I'd probably want to date sum to infinity because it's that cool.